Election 2016 and a bombshell day, bombshell day yesterday for the Clinton campaign. This after FBI Director James Comey sent a letter to congressional leaders saying the FBI will review new emails related to Clinton's server. The emails are not from Clinton, but rather were found on a computer found when the FBI was investigating sexting claims against Anthony Weiner. Weiner is the estranged husband of Clinton's former top aide, Huma Abedin. We spoke to the former FBI agent, Tony Kravitz, about the unprecedented nature of something like this a week and a half before an election. And in this case, you see what we're 10 days out from, from the election of a president of the United States, and they're coming out that we are reopening an investigation into who could very well be our president. I've never, in 25 years, never saw that happen before. I'm here with uh, JU's public policy director, uh, Rick Mullaney. Rick, I think it was about a month ago you were saying to me, as dramatic as it's been, it's probably going to get even more dramatic toward Election Day. Well, I didn't predict this. Yeah, you didn't predict this, though. <laughs> I did. Just more drama. This is stunning. Yeah. I mean, it really is stunning. Eleven days before a presidential election, the FBI announces the opening of this investigation. Uh, it raises a lot of questions, probably raises more questions than it answers. Sure but it is a stunning development. I want to ask you something, because it's been covered a lot in the last 24 hours. If this comes out Tuesday, Wednesday, they release it all, and it's not that damning to Mrs. Clinton, do you think it hurts her going into Election Day, just the fact that it's out, or, or not? First of all, it's highly unlikely that this matter will be closed or resolved before Election Day. Sure. Very highly, highly unlikely. Potentially, this involves thousands of emails as sort of the preliminary indication, mm -hmm. so it's that's unlikely. Second, I do think, let's face it, this is not a helpful conversation for the Clinton campaign. Mm -hmm. It is damaging. The extent of that is hard to assess right now. We'll have to see how this plays out. But I don't think you should expect that come Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, this matter will be closed. In fact, this could linger on, if she were to win, this could linger and be a cloud that hangs over her as she goes into the White House. Donald Trump ex expectedly pounced uh, at a couple campaign stops yesterday. And then this morning, just a few minutes ago, we learned the ABC Washington Post tracking poll, which about a week ago was 12 points, is down to two. That is, I think, almost just as stunning. Well, what you've seen in these polls over the past week has been a narrowing of the gap. So, lots of reasons for that, but it's really not Hillary Clinton losing ground so much as Donald Trump has begun to solidify some of his base. Republicans mm -hmm. are coming home for him, so he's moved up a little bit. Plus, this past week, remember, the Affordable Care Act and Obamacare has become a bit of an issue. Yep. And that's been a help to Republicans in the Senate side and also to Donald Trump. That's all before this bombshell with the FBI investigation. Well, if this FBI does have legs and it is a true issue that will last these next 10 days, you've got a lot of people who have already voted. What, what happens with that? Is anything? Is it, is it too late? For, the short answer is yes. Yeah. Uh, in most states, you can't do a do-over. In a couple states, you can. But I don't know if this is going to rise to the level of, of most people wanting to do that. So far, Scott, you've had about 15 million people cast their votes. We expect over 130 million so ballots. it's not a huge amount. It's still a lot of people, but on a percentage basis, yeah. not a huge percentage out of 130 million. But it does suggest that there's more information here and that the public is listening. As, and some people may have doubts about their vote. By the way, the Real Clear Politics averages does still has Hillary Clinton with a five to six point lead. So that's important to keep that in mind. That is important. Too. Real quickly, Mrs. Clinton comes out last night, speaks night of this releasing, saying, I want all the evidence out there. Is that a smart move for her? Absolutely smart. I thought it was shrewd. I thought it was good politics. In the past, she's been criticized for secrecy and waiting too long. This was very proactive, very smart, and she went on offense, challenging the FBI to come forward, knowing full well that they really can't, knowing full well, full well that it's very unlikely. Uh, so I thought it was very good politics. Rick Mullaney with JU, thank you so much for joining us. Very, very interesting, a lot of developments. Uh, be sure to head to the polls, and don't forget to check out our voter's guide at newsforjacks.com. You can find early voting locations and a list of local races you'll see on your ballot, so uh, you'll be prepared when you cast your vote.